Hey guys, so we've just played through the World Council, uh, a game created by the Creator Studio, uh, by local designer Loxon Ken Lung. Thanks again, Loxon, for sending us a copy of this. Uh, really excited that, that you know we're seeing more Hong Kong designers uh, going through Kickstarter and getting funding from around the world, uh, and you know sort of putting a spotlight on on the local design community here. So in this game, each person uh, plays as a as a country, as a counselor, and is part of this the World Council. These are the guys who are secretly running the world behind the scenes. Um, and you know whether you're a superpower or a developing country, uh, your objectives may be different. It may be military based or, or energy uh, and and food based. Uh, but while you are, you're playing through the game, uh, as you spend resources, some of these different doomsday indices will tick up. And if any of them ticks up too high, you know, the, the, game, the game ends prematurely and, and no one wins. Um, so, you know, it's a really new and, and rather insightful look, I'd say, on, on, how, on how the world actually works. Um, do people really need to care about about things that are happening across across the globe? And you know, do we have any responsibility to it? And I think this game really sort of brought some of that to light. Yes. Yeah, so what did you think about the game? Um, it was fun, but um, I think it, it requires at least um, one to two playthroughs to to fully understand um, how important it is to keep these these doomsday indexes down. Yeah. Because this is definitely not a every man for himself game. Yeah, you have to cooperate with others at least until the mid game, where you can build up your 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 own base without basically destroying the world and everybody loses. Right? Yeah, it's like a co-op game with selfish goals. Yeah, I think. And then when we played through the first time, basically what happened was we everybody was just trying to play to their goal, and then and then we end up just yeah, nobody you know, cared about the consequences. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. end up just like you know blowing up the world, but with drought, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think like if there was something, like if there was like a, a combined a co-op victory, mm -hmm. that would it, that would have um, changed the dynamics up a, up a bit. But I think if we played it the second time, I think it would be a lot better. Yeah, yeah. especially I think um, it was quite difficult. I think in the beginning, understanding um, how to build your buildings that you need efficiently to achieve your goal, because we we, we didn't know which cards build what. It's only until mid-game that we, we knew we, which kind of cards we need to draw, what we need to build in order to achieve our goal. Yeah, the right. concept of the cards is kind of a bit hard to understand at, yeah. at first. Um, what, what happens is you, you see here you have three different types of cards and um, however all the, all the functions of the cards are actually uh, has nothing to do with actually the resources on the card. So it took some time for us to kind of understand uh, why you need to choose which one during each turn. And also, um, the problem I had with this game was uh, the manual was kind of unclear sometimes. Yeah. Um, and the, uh, I think a lot of the wording was uh, a bit flawed. Or, or uh, vague. Vague, yeah, yeah vague. And, but, but overall, it was a pretty fun game. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. After one of two playthroughs, you kind of understand uh, how to play through the whole thing. And then, like, the second playthrough, I probably have. No, not not many issues. Yeah, yeah, and I also like like the um, the different powers, the different yeah. types of countries. But I, I do feel like they could have uh, more. Because I felt like the only difference was at the start that your hand cards were different. Yeah. But you know, turn by turn, there wasn't really much difference. Yeah, they should. They, yeah, yeah. I, I think it would be more interesting if they added if they added more certain bonuses, certain bonuses yeah. between the different countries. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like if like the developing nations, if you donate to something, you get to something in return. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, apart from the mechanics, which were which which I thought were really fun, I thought that the theme um, was reflected quite well in the game because towards the beginning we were um, all trying to fulfill our objectives and develop the buildings we needed to, um, and we never really paid attention to the doomsday indices. But then towards the end, this sense of urgency kind of hit us. But then um, by that point, to fulfill our personal objectives, we would have to sacrifice like the overall well-being and we would all lose the game. Um, so I think like in future playthroughs, it would be really interesting to see how we consider maintaining these indices whilst still fulfilling our objectives, which is a real challenge to find a balance in this yeah, game. Yeah, I, th I thought it was, it was pretty frustrating actually. Um, I mean, obviously, we did we did a lot of the um, the, the disaster cards, um, so a lot of it was sort of like um, 
in, in that case, every man for himself because you know there was a lot at stake, but it wasn't enough to make ourselves want to sort of discard our own cards and stuff. Especially um, if we only have a couple of buildings in front of us and we have to discard a couple of these. Um, so, so basically, for me, um, I had like I spent a lot of turns having to discard cards. Um, so. At, by the end of the game, I really w was just trying to build some stuff. Um, so that maybe that's, uh, I, I should be less or, or more cooperative in the future uh, in, in, in a setting like this. Um, but, uh, but I guess if, you know, if, the, if the overall objective of the game was to you know, showcase this sort of cutthroat mentality in world politics, right? Um, that, then I think you know, does, does actually does a pretty good job. So yeah, overall, you know, really great playthrough. Really excited to, to play it again. Hopefully this time we'll do better, uh, knowing what we know now about the game and, and how everything really does need to be a bit more balanced. Um, you know, I think in terms of the theme, Creator Studios and, and Loxton did an amazing job uh, really showcasing how when you're only looking out for, for number one, that, you know, you may be ahead in the game, but but in the grand scheme of things, you know, you, that things uh, end prematurely, things fall short. So, so really well done there. Um, and yeah, again, it's really exciting to, to see that we've got games like this uh, coming up in Hong Kong. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see more, more out there and, and definitely excited to, to get our hands on those. So thanks for tuning in to, to our edition of Unboxing the World Council and hope to see you again next time.